just arrived at Jeju Island and it's very windy. We were walking randomly before we check into our hotel and we found this colourful house. We are at the Jeju Sea. Check out the view. After walking for about 10 minutes, it's time to take a break. Check out the view from our room. We are on the hunt for a seafood restaurant that we visited about 10 years ago in the seaside of uh, Jeju. Let's see if we can find it. How does it taste? The weather is not looking too good today for Halasan Hai. It's been drizzling all night. The trail is going to be wet. So we're going to skip today and we're going to make an attempt tomorrow. We have decided to brave the drizzle and go for a warm-up hike up Halasan from a different trail. We are heading up Irimok Trail. It's a very slight drizzle now. The sun is out. Let's go. Arrive at the entrance of the Irimok Trail. Only to realize they closed the trail due to wet weather. We are heading into a Jeju 1100 short walk Today is our wedding anniversary and it's also our second attempt to summit Halasan. At the start of the trail, heading up Halasan, it's a bit wet and cold today, um, but the track is open. See you later. We just started for about 10 minutes. Okay, but the weather I think is improving. Still cloudy, but the sun is out. We are picking up our pace to create a little gap between us, ourselves, and a group of uh, teenagers behind us that has been making a lot of noise since the beginning of the track. They can't seem to stop talking and enjoy the nature. Very busy day to visit Halasan. Look at the number of people up here. It's just a few seconds ago we can see the Halasan volcano. Right now, everything is white out again. This must be the most interesting piece of stone in Jeju. There's a long line of people waiting to take a photo with this piece of stone. The fog is gone. And now you can see that we are way above the clouds. The cloud is just right behind us. We are walking through a mist on the way down from Halasan. The forest is turning mysterious again. We made it down Halasan in one piece. <laughs> okay, let's go. How long is the track today? 9 hours, 12 minutes and 56 seconds. We took over 9 hours to go up and down Halasan. Although the distance is not, the mountain is not that high, it's just over 1900 meters, but it's a really challenging trail. So, for those of y'all who think that Halasan is easy, come and give it a try. <laughs> I'm never coming back again, okay. ever. Let's ask this question in a different way. How long will it take for you to forget 
the pain of Halasan. At least a decade. Okay, we're gonna take her word for it. One decade later, ten years later, we'll revisit Halasan again. Today is our wedding anniversary and the way we chose to celebrate it is to hike up Halasan. We were here about 10 years ago, had a good time but we could not see the crater the last on the last visit. So we thought we have to do this again. So today the weather is perfect, nice and cool, a bit misty in the morning but when we got up there the volcano lake is in clear view. So now that our mi mission is accomplished, we're gonna treat ourselves to a nice dinner. After a long day up and down Halasan, Saoluwa. This is our dinner, black pork, barbecue, with a sea view. Let's see the taste test. We just had one of the nicest anniversary dinner at the Black Pork restaurant. It's in Korean so we can't tell you the name. But it's really nice. And this is the view. Okay, we just had a big breakfast. Probably several thousand calories. So we are now trying to burn it off at the Sunrise Peak in Seongsan. Right behind us is the Sunrise Peak. The round trip should take around 50 minutes. We're gonna do a slow walk today. This is a much easier trail compared to Halasan. It's lined with cobblestone. <laughs> Check this out. We are about halfway up. Can already see the top of the Sunrise Peak. And right behind us is the view of Xiongsan. We are almost at the top. You have made it to the Sunrise Peak. <laughs> Enjoy the view. <laughs> this is the view on the way down. Right below this clay is the famous Jeju Women's Dive School. After driving around searching for a bar, we found one and this is the signature bar snack. Bozi is going to show us how to prepare a Korean fish. This is how you do it. Break the head off, open up the belly, remove the bones and break them into small pieces bite-sized pieces okay. and you eat it with special Korean sauce <laughs> tonight is our last night in Jeju and we're having raw fish and check out the view here is the beginning of our raw fish dinner with lots of small dishes. Some are actually still alive. Let's do a taste test. This is the famous Korean Jeju flatfish. There's so much food and this is all we can manage. There's still plenty left on the table but we can't go out anymore. This is it. We just had one of the nicest sashimi dinner in Jeju and that's because we are in the sashimi street right here this is 9 p.m. in Jeju where everything comes alive
This is a Jeju vibe. 